Hello guys, how are you doing today? Today we are going to see the next video tutorial. In it we are going to learn how we can add the data to our table in the database. And in my last video tutorial we have seen that how we can create a database, a table and how to create the create query, drop query and insert in tables and how we can select the data and now we are going to go ahead and actually create a add form java file and in it we are going to have a simple text field and a button and on click listener of that button we'll add the data to our database so for this we are going to go to our java folder and here i am going to go to new and activity and I am going to take an empty activity. And I am going to give it a name as add form. Now we are going to create its layout file. And I am going to go to the layout folder and here I have already created an activity add form file and we are going to take one plain text we will set its property I will give it a name as add data. I will give it a name as add text. Then I am going to give it a hint. And we are going to remove the text from the field. And now we will go ahead and take one button. I will give this button an ID. created our dot layout dot activity add form so this file would basically run the layout of activity add form and here we will go and create one object of our database helper file for my database helper file you can refer to my last video in that I have shown how we can create a database helper file having create query insert query select query and how we can create a database and table and now we are going to create an object of this class and I'll take two components one would be button I'll give it a name as btn add and the second one would be added text.
is done and we are going to go ahead and we are going to set a M database helper is equal to new database helper and we will pass this in it and we will create a click listener then btn add dot set on click listener and in with it we will write new So it's here and here we are going to create one string variable and I am going to give it a name as new entry. This variable would be responsible for taking the data of our edit, edit text. Then we have to write here edit text dot get text and we have to it to string because we have to store the data in our string variable so this is done and now we will create a if statement that if our edit text dot length since it's a string variable so we will use dot length is not equal to null then we will going to call a method will name it as add data and we will pass a new entry variable in it and we are going to create this method and in it we will create a boolean type variable and I am going to give it a name as insert data and I am going to pass in it Basically what we have done, if our, the text from the edit text field would be stored into string which is new entry, then this string it will check that if this string variable is not empty, then we will call this method called add data and add data would be basically uh, uh, responsible for telling us whether the data has been actually inserted or not and uh, this insert data in it we have passed the object and we have called the add data method which is of the database helper class and we have passed the variable which we have passed here to here now let's go to database helper class and see what add data is doing see in add data we have received a string called name which we have passed from add, add data here so new entry would be going to this name to the column name called name and this we are going to insert to our table and it is going to return a boolean type if the data would be inserted then if the result is not minus 1 then the data would be inserted and it would return true and otherwise the it would return as false so here we have created a insert type because from there from this thing we have been uh, accepting a true or false value so that's why we have created a insert data variable of boolean type and we will pass this to our insert data if condition if this is done then we will create a toast message that data insert
will create this function here. Let's run this now. Now if, we, if the text field would be having the value then data would be inserted otherwise we would be shown a message that field is mandatory. Now we will add dog. It's inserted and if we are going to add a empty data so it is showing a message field mandatory. So that's it for today and in our next tutorial we will learn that how we can populate this data which is in our database to the list view and we will learn that how we can create this data and actually create a custom list view. Thank you so much for watching. Keep subscribing, liking and do comment and thank you.